This video accompanies the T-Spine Sferino TS Skin Spoon Tutorial and shows how the Face Layout section of the command works. Now the Face Layout helps us determine how the end topology of our model will be and you can tell that this is not how a nice surface would look. So by clicking on parts of the surface on the faces then we can reflow the model and have the surface look how we would like it to look. And we just click on areas of the surface to turn it off. And to turn on surface areas, we just click on a curve. We can hold on shift if we want to click, help us click on the curve as well, and then select the desired face from a list. Now the bolded red curves show that that curve or no part of that curve will be included in the final surface creation. And so since we want to include all of our curves, we need to make sure there's no bolded red curves. And these red dots also mean that um, the surface cannot be generated because there's two surfaces that meet at a kitty corner and that's not valid with a T-spine surface. So I continue to click on surface edges and now I have the topology laid out how I want to for the spoon.